All right, we got to find the perimeter and area of this thing. So same idea, we can cut this up into smaller different shapes. Uh, in this case, maybe we just cut it into two different shapes. Did you guys make that cut or that cut right there? The first one like this? It really doesn't matter which one you do. Let's try this one. Not that it really matters. All right, if we make the cut there, then this length is a four, and this is the length here is four. Since this length is two, we can move that over, that's two, and since the whole thing is four, this length right here would be two as well. And then in addition, since this length is four, and the entire thing is six, the remainder must be two right there. So we know that value as well. It's two foot. So we have two rectangles. This one is a four by two, which would be eight square feet. And this triangle, rectangle rather, is also a four by two, which would be just another eight square foot. So that's just the area. We're just going to add those two eights, which would give us 16 square feet. <clears throat> now we need the perimeter, though. So let's look at this from side to side. This length is 4, so I'm just going to list these and then add them. We already knew this was a length of 2 from the previous part, the area. And then this length is 2. Maybe helpful for you guys to... I don't know, draw over these lines so that you can know that you've added them already. Four. This one was two from the area. And then we've got this length of six. So we're just going to add these. And the perimeter is 20 feet. Hopefully you guys understand that perimeter is a length, which is one-dimensional, so it has no square foot, feet squared, or cubed.